The following program was produced by an independent community producer. The opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of the ECAT staff or board of directors. I'm Gail Devins and welcome to Discover Easton. Guess where I am? I am at the Children's Museum of Easton. And you can hear by the screeches what a wonderful time these kids are having. <laughs> they are. Yes, and this is Christine Centuro. And she's the executive director. And um, thank you very much for having us here. Well, thanks for coming here. This is, it's great to have ECAT here and, and filming um, all of the wonderful things we have here at the Eastern Children's Museum. That's great. Well, I can't wait to go on the tour so you can show me every wonderful thing that's we going do. on here. We do. We have three floors of, a, of um, exhibits and activities for children, um, ages one to seven. Um, and uh, we change the activities, you know, daily sometimes, monthly, um, and our exhibits change periodically. Um, oh, okay. But this, this floor is one of the uh, most, uh, you know, beloved, I guess. Yes, it see. looks it. <laughs> Wow, and there's something very special happening today in the event. Today, yes, today is our, um, uh, we're having a special guest, and her name is Miss Wonderful. Ooh, Miss Wonderful. And in celebration of Miss Wonderful, we are having a Mad Hatter tea party, Ooh. and we're making hats, and you may see some of the hats uh, as oh, you- Oh, I see uh, the hats, yeah. Wow, so the kids make their own hats? They do make their own hats, exactly. And they had a wonderful um, a treat, um, you know, at the tea party. Oh, very good. <laughs> that sounds great. Well, let's take a tour. The main floor um, theme is really transportation and movement. Transportation and movement. So okay. we, have, we have trains. Uh, we have our uh, fire truck, you know, which is our mascot, basically. Oh, and that. then we have um, our golf ball raceway, uh, where oh. the children can climb up these stairs with, the, with the, the golf ball. balls, release the uh, golf ball, and follow it along as it goes. If you'd okay. like me to go up and do one, I'll do one for you. You don't mind? Really? <laughs> you do that? That'd be great. You know what? I remember this when my children were very small, which was about a thousand years ago. And um, I remember watching the ball go down. So there's some things that you kept. Oh, yes. That, you know what I mean? This is very popular. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. So here's the golf ball raceway. The child comes up here. Christine's going to demonstrate. Reaches ball. up here and follows the ball. Oh. Can you hear it? Here's the, here comes oh. the second one. Oh, and another one. Here we go. Oh, isn't that great? Oh, wow. <laughs> that is cool. That is very cool. It is really and cool. they feel like they're really doing something, too. You know they what I mean? Do. Like, look what I did. Yeah, exactly. And then they usually race down the stairs and can't wait to see what's going <laughs> on. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> I love it. And look at how this is quite intricate here with all the... Bridges and the yeah. places. And well, we oh, at first fun. we just had a main, um, our large train uh, table. Oh, uh, yeah. have been here for many years. Yeah. But um, after COVID, we had um, a lot more younger children coming in. Oh, really? So we designed two smaller tables for the, the littler children. Oh, that's and, great. And they love them. They really enjoy Isn't it. Isn't that great? Yeah. Wow. So they learned they could push them around. They can, you know, play with the little villages. Um, yeah. But uh, they're very, very popular. You know what else I like, too, is I like that there's enough room around for kids to, okay, go over here and go over there. You're not all crowded. Exactly. So exactly. I like that. Yeah, and these are really, really popular. Isn't that nice? Over here, we have our, our, our ship, 
our pirate ship. Oh, 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 ship. Another way to travel. Another way to travel, exactly. <laughs> oh, now yeah. that. Oh, yeah, and we can, look at how much fun that is. You can, you know, spin the wheel. Oh, you have come a, on. You've got your, you know, your spyglass here. This is here. just amazing. Look at this. All aboard. <laughs> okay, look at this. This is, hi, matey. Look at yeah, this. You can bring up, you can pull that and bring it up. Oh. And you caught a lobster. Oh, I caught a lobster. What do you know? <laughs> Little butter? <laughs> This is so amazing. I love this. Yeah, we wow. can put on a little raincoat. Oh, there. the raincoat. Oh, how cute. Or books about, you know, ocean life. And you feel like you're in the ocean, And you right? do. Yeah, this was painted again back in 2018. Really? Um, when we repainted all this area, this whole, whole downstairs. This just, oh, and you look up at the ceiling. See, there's so much. There's things up from the ceiling. There's everywhere, wherever you look. It is. Oh, isn't this fun? <laughs> And this is our, our mission, our, our, our NASA uh, center. Oh, yeah. We have mission control. Oh, here. really? Um, you know, we wow. have our, uh, our, our rover, our moon rover. Oh, isn't that um, great? And uh, we have our space capsule. Oh, no, the kids must just and, and they do love, love it. Oh, do you, have a, um, do you have a black light in there? Is that what's, um, yeah, or is it we, purplish? Or? It, it is, a bit of a black light, I guess. So yeah, that's sure. really yeah. so cool. Yeah. The details are crazy. Yeah. Wow, and I just yeah. love... The, just the, the blue that you used and the stars and the planets. And we, oh, the astronaut. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it, this was very popular. It, it, it is. The kids oh, love it. Speak. And they'll come you know, again and again to just you know, play yeah. the same things again. Oh, and, sure. And make up new stories. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fun part. Oh, this is great. And of course, you know our our most popular is our fire truck. Oh, so, now that's signature, right? This right. fire truck has really been here a while, this right? This is our mascot. Yeah, we moved it. Actually, it was upstairs. Oh, okay. And we moved it downstairs and oh. repainted it um, like two years ago. Very um, nice. It has, you know, it has a wheel that they can spin. Oh, um, fun. It has a hose. Oh, the hose. <laughs> and, and we have our equipment right here. Oh, the equipment they can wear. <laughs> that's very can nice. Wear well, thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to put out a fire or two. Here we have our <laughs> oh, this is so much. This is great. This is really great. I love this. And so this was upstairs. It must not have been easy moving this thing down. No, no. We had oh. to just dismantle it and put it back together again. That was quite a project. <laughs> and you, do you still have the fire pole? It's right here. Oh, the fire pole is still there. Oh, that is great. And that may be the most popular thing. Here. Is it really the fire pole? I know, the one thing is with the pole. Oh, isn't that great? Oh, a nice, uh, a nice pad to fall on when you yep. go down the pole. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> have you seen kids go to the very top at all? Well, we, we have them stop right there. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, okay. <laughs> there are some who would, um, but we have a plexiglass uh, piece there so they can't go through there yeah. and upstairs they can't come down <laughs> oh yes very important, very important. Very important. <laughs> oh isn't that great i can't so that's still there after all these years had a lot of use very popular train this was uh, repainted a uh, year or two ago also. Is it really yeah and there's a logo on it very yep. nice and we have yep. specially designed wheels Ooh, oh, aren't those it. fancy this is just a, a child's dream come true. Really. And they do. They, they really I mean, love it. You know, it's just. They do. But as you can my, see. Yeah. Oh, look <laughs> at the kids up there. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So that really is popular. And I like how you have stools to climb up on so they can reach. Yeah, there's a stool wow. in there they can go. See yeah. Oh, that's cool. You know, what I'm noticing, too, is it's, it's so safe here. You know what I mean? Like, everything you play with, it's... You just don't get hurt. You know what I mean? A lot well, of thought went into this, a lot of research, I bet. Yeah. Well, you know? we, we do. We have to be careful in you know, how we plan and, and um, mm -hmm. the activities um, that we put out here so that we, they are designed for safety as well mm -hmm. as fun and education. Oh, and education, which is also so important, right? Right, right. Yeah. Because the way a child learns is through play. Oh, and yeah. so they're playing here, they're learning. You yes. Know, depending on their age, it might just be oh, how you can fit a train on a track and move it, you know, yeah. just that. Yeah. Um, but Definitely. as they get older, you know, it's it's really making up stories or yeah. learning colors or, mm -hmm. you know, True. learning, you know, okay, what's a part of a town? Well, it's a hospital, it's a pet shop, oh, a pizzeria, oh, right. a school. Oh, um, right. so Things that we take for granted, they're, they're <laughs> learning it. Exactly. So that's, yeah. 
So I everything really has is a, is multi level as far as um, the, you know planning and education mm -hmm. and fun. Yeah. Of oh, course, so one of our more popular yeah. things is the store. Oh, the store! It's hard for parents to get by without coming. To I the know, store. right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's so bright and colorful, yeah. and ooh. yeah, and we try to have you know things in there that you know go along with some of the things that we're doing. So, in other words, you know, we might have. Um, uh, we had a, a, a mermaid um, come visit us, and so we oh, have really? some mermaid things here. Oh, fun. We always have dinosaurs. Those oh, are the yeah. most popular. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, and oh, that's great. And lots great. of things for older children, too. You know, like, oh, good. well, you know, a fossil set. Yeah. Like, Look at that. Wow. And you know what? The prices aren't bad. No, we try to. They're really good. We try to keep things so that they're reasonable. Yeah. You know, that's because really kids, good. you know, kids will you know, demand that their parents. <laughs> Yikes, and I love the fence you put around it. Nice and solid. No child's going to get in there. Right. <laughs> Desk here where people come in to register. Oh, okay. And they're greeted by our, our wonderful st staff here. Hello. Uh, this is Julia and this is Brianna. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah. Looks like you're very busy, and but it's a fun place, right? It's a busy day. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, oh, it's great. It's great. So here's the counter where you sign in. Or? Yeah, this is our, is our registration. Is sign in? Or? It's a registration desk where we have memberships. Uh, we've got you know, two level of memberships here. We have a $125 membership for just the two of us, you know, okay. one adult and a child. Um, and then we have the um, reciprocal membership, the $150 membership. And reciprocal means that you get... Um, uh, half, if you go to other children's museums mm -hmm. um, who are part of the program, you pay half admission. Half? Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's a very good deal. And that's only $25 more than the Just for the Tools. Yeah, yeah. And, it's, it, and it admits up to six people. Six? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, and I see that you have 10% off parties if yeah. you have that? Yeah. Exactly. Isn't that something? Um, our our uh, a walk in um, admission is $12 a person. Oh, okay. For children one and up. Oh, one so, and up. Okay. Is that, what, is that usually the age? What's a typical age of children that come here? Um, well, we're getting much younger children. I mean, we do okay. actually have children coming in who are crying. Really? Yeah, really? With their parents. Or maybe they'll have a young, you know, an older sibling. Oh, and then they bring the little one. Oh, yeah, they bring yeah. the little one. Um, but usually, you know, um, two. Starting two, two to seven okay. or eight, um, but eight. we're getting yeah. much, m many more children who are in, who are one who are really toddlers. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. And so, how about so? Do you have like a cutoff as far as kids' ages to come here? Well, we are you, you kind know, of discourage a little bit. Well, or? I wouldn't say discourage, but um, you know, it's designed for children one to seven. One to seven. Okay. You know, typically, yeah. but you know, children develop it various rates oh yeah um, and so you know and there are things here that will interest older children you yes. know you know definitely and, mm -hmm. um, but but that's our, our typical age is is, okay. is, is is one to seven. Oh, okay that's great. and our activities are designed for that age although yeah. in the summertime um <clears throat> we tend to have some older children coming we'll we'll do activities that um, will appeal to maybe an eight or nine year old oh really okay Wow, so there's so many activities and events and everything like that. Yeah. So, oh, this is just amazing. You have to come see this. <laughs>In 2023, Easton is a tight-knit community of 25,000 people. But with the hustle and bustle of modern life, it's easy to forget our past. A time when Easton's population was 6,000. Everybody knew who everybody, and everybody every, was. And, and, and there was respect. There was respect for, mm -hmm. for everyone. When kids enjoyed great freedom and independence. Everybody was poor at today's standards. But we all were in the same boat and we enjoyed life. So join me. Priscilla Almquist Olson, as I explore what makes Easton so very special with some of its lifetime residents. I think Easton has so much to offer, and if you're living in a community, you have to know it. Watch Growing Up in Easton Tuesdays at 7 p.m. and Friday at 9 p.m. See you then.
Hello, welcome to Easton News. I'm Abby Kitchenham. And I'm Jack Ryan, and together we bring you everything you need to know about Easton, including politics. The annual town election is scheduled for Saturday, April 22nd, 2023. Community events. Be inspired. Counseling presence, a parent and child coping workshop centered around a new year and new beginnings. And sports. Pressure builds diamonds, so... We, we live by that every day of practice, going into every game. With APCSM guest segment, Pet of the Week. Hi, I'm Katie with the Animal Protection Center, and today we have a little Iris. With help from special correspondent Wyatt Fain. Join us. For Easton News. Playing 6 o'clock, Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. Good evening, and welcome to another edition of For the Love of Words. After a three-year hiatus, join me, John Holgerson, and... Priscilla Almquist Olson. As we interview poets and musicians. Could you give the audience a, a little summary of your background as a child? When I turned seven or so, we were car bombed. That stuck out. And have them share their love of words. Sometimes I wonder, do you ever think of me? A thin broth of moonlight caught in the trees spreads across the garden brush so one side of every stick shimmers while the other sides melt into one another, a mass grave of cherry, pear, and pine. For the love of words, at 7 p.m. on Thursdays. And you see our serpent, our, well, actually this is our, our cat tail, as you come up here. Oh, okay. Here's our, here's our cat. Oh, look at the cat! Oh, isn't that, oh wow. That is very cool. I love that. Oh, I feel like a kid. Oh, look at the mirror. Yeah, this appeals to the little ones. They love just to, you know, stand in front of that and see what they look like in the, in the mirror. I love that. It's so clean. That's the other thing. It's so clean in here. Well, we work you know very I mean? hard to keep it clean. Yeah. yeah. That well, must have been a challenge during COVID. I mean, did you, yes. we were closed during we, COVID. We were closed for eight uh -huh. months. But when we, yeah. when we opened during COVID, what we did was, it was really by appointment. You had to sign up ahead of time oh, for a morning okay. session or an afternoon session. Um, you know, we had, you know, many, many air cleaners, constantly yeah. cleaning, um, yeah. constantly cleaning. Oh. And our, our staff worked very, very hard to keep oh. it clean, and still does. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it really, if you look around here, everything's so clean. It's nice. Oh, I hear some music going on in so here. What's this, this? This is our beam room. Oh! And games are projected from uh, the projector up here oh. onto the floor. And they're, inter oh my goodness. they're interactive. No way! Are you serious? So, let's see. The game is going to begin here. Okay. Oh, so you actually step on it? Yep. Oh, isn't that yeah. funny? It'll start again. So you try to step on it. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so cool. Can I try one? Okay, let's see, here we go. Step on you. <laughs> I got 50 points. <laughs> and every game, you know, these are all the games that we have right now. I mean, we have, I, hundreds of games on the machine and we can change them uh, and, and they go from very you know basic you know just you know find find something and step on it yeah two games where you know you do addition um or really subtraction, yeah, yeah, subtraction oh, shapes colors all kinds of things. oh my goodness i i am really impressed this is yeah. i mean i think this kind of explains it this poster kind of explains it oh okay yeah Oh, very interesting. Musical chairs and all. Oh, goodness. And the, the purpose so of the game really is to have fun, but yes. it also helps with memory, education, you know, yep. jumping up and down, sports. There's all kinds of things to do. This is so all around, just, it covers everything. We try to. It's just, <laughs> I love that. This is, I'd be here all the time. I'd be here all the time. <laughs> so, this is our town. Oh, let's go into the town. Here we go. In our town, we have um, a veterinary clinic. Oh, very important. Take care of the veterinary clinic. Oh, look at that. And over here, we have a, oh, actually a, a microscope. Oh. 
So yeah. they can actually take things and they can, like a regular Microsoft. Yeah, these are Look slides, it. and it tells you what's on here. I mean, oh. this appeals to the you know the children who are a little bit older. Yeah, and yeah. To the, and to the parents, but they can see algae. They can see different. Come on, kinds of, really? Yeah, all kinds of things wow. on the slides. Isn't that amazing? And if you put it under here, and you take you a peek can, in, right? Yeah, take a peek in, and you can adjust the. Oh, look at that. That is really something. Oh, look at, oh my goodness. Wish you could see it, but you can't. You have to come here to see it. But look at the, I love how this is just like a vet center, right? It is. Oh my goodness, look at everything. And you got your little smock to wear. We do. Oh my do. goodness, this is so great. Yeah, we want to take care of our pets. We well, you know what also. Awesome. Over here, we can actually wash our pets. This is oh, a little we can wash place them. to groom oh, the pets. The, yeah, look at that. The groomer, yep. Yeah. Yeah. You get the. <laughs> hey, you know what, too? If they have a pet and the pet has to go to the vet, they're not all scared and worried. Oh, no, what does that right. mean? They say, right. oh, yeah, I know all about this. Right. They can come here and they can play act. Uh, yeah. The look at the, the cat food and everything. Oh my goodness. And over here is our pediatrician's office, our doctor's office. Oh, wow. If they can touch this and they realize, okay, it's not so foreign to me that when I do go to the doctor and I do need to have an x-ray, yeah. oh, I know all about this. This yeah. is so easy. And right? they can, we have babies in here that they can examine. Oh, the little babies. Yep. Yeah, we, we have can examine a, the babies. a blood pressure cuff. Oh, oh yeah. A, a thermometer. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And if they need, you know, a vaccination, they can. Oh, yeah, yeah. So they don't have to be scared of that. Right. Isn't that? Right down to the Kids Clinic Health Assessment Sheet. And we have our Oh, the eyes. eyes. You have to check heart. your eyesight. Yeah, and we have our doctor's coat. Oh, and I love our it. nurse's coat. See, I'm telling you, as a child, as a small child, you go into the doctor and you see them in their white coat. Mm -hmm. And then you see the assistant in there as when you're scared. But if you've seen this playing and you're doing this and learning, if right. you go there, it's really no big deal, yeah. right? Exactly. And also, you know, if they've been there and they've been frightened, you know, or oh, afraid, yeah. they can come out here and they can act it out. Oh, interesting yeah. point. And, uh, yeah. and, and that really makes them feel like they've got control of a situation oh, where yes. a child can act it out themselves. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that... Oh. Just amazing how wonderful this is. And this is a new feature here. Um, World food. Of our, our rowing, our, our, our traveling cafe. <laughs> and what we do is uh, we, uh, every month we will change the food up. You know, we'll oh, have yeah? Food. Oh, um, so every month, okay. So here we've got, this one's uh, bamboo shoots. Um, oh, boy. This is um, Asian food. Oh, isn't that great? Um, and then, you know, we have the Italian food, we have... You know, all kinds of um, different kinds of food. It might be huh. French or Greek or, you know, uh, any kind of ethnic yeah. food. Um, yeah. And we'll, we'll change it up periodically. And then the children can come in here uh, around this side and they can cook. We have a grill. <laughs> we have a pizza oven. You have a grill and a pizza oven? We do. <laughs> we have our refrigerator right here. Oh, that's so uh, Here's our counter to prepare food. Oh, my goodness. We have our sink so... and our stove. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, um, another child or a parent can come up and order. Yeah. And make and <laughs> order a pizza. And there you go. There's your pizza. And get served. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got the condiments and the cash, and cash register. register. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. This is great. Yeah, and our, um, our art director, Pam, designed oh, this. Oh, yeah, Pam. Oh, did she? She designed it? Yes, she did. She oh, designed, so designed and painted it. Yeah, she's very talented. Oh, my goodness. Wow. And, yeah, and, uh, and this, our, our planning as far as, you know, what features we have in the museum, um, we rely on our educational director, Chrissy. Then over here, um, we have our mailbox, of course. You've got to have a... Okay, have a mailbox. Yes, the mailbox. And, and, and we encourage people, if they go traveling, to bring us postcards. Oh, what and a great idea. We laminate idea. them, and uh, we put them in here. Isn't that a great idea? So we have postcards from all kinds of places. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that great? And this one happens to be a bear. Bears oh, from Alaska. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. Oh, wow. So they know how to go to the mail and what that's all about. They do. And this is one of my favorite areas. Um, you know, this is our, con our construction zone um, with our oh. conveyor belts. 
And the children love this. Oh, come on. Isn't that great? Oh, isn't that great? <laughs> and they can put on um, a hard hat. Oh, yeah, put on the hard hat. Be nice and protected. Get their glove, their work gloves. They can have their work gloves, their their vest. Yep, the vest. They can <laughs> measure what oh, they need to do. Brother. And they can build. Yes, and they can actually build. And you never know what triggers their nat that we all kind of have natural gifts and natural abilities. Yeah. And it may trigger something. Like, you know what? Exactly. I'm do this when I get older. Exactly. You know? Yeah, I mean, and again, I, I know I'm kind of repeating myself here, but Everything we plan is multi-level. You know, we you know children learn by experience, mm -hmm. um, and so we try to incorporate all kinds of experiences, um, and they learn. I mean, they learn not just to make a building, mm -hmm. but they learn you know the shape. Okay. It's a cube, right? You know? Right. Um, huh. You know, this is a rectangle. Oh yeah. You know? Or huh. you know, a triangle. Isn't that interesting? Yes. Yeah, things we take for granted. Right. We're exactly. So they're learning vocabulary, they're learning, you know, they're also learning social skills because in here, I was just thinking they, that. you know, quite often have to cooperate. <laughs> oh, yes. How to share. How to share. <laughs> it's not all yours. <laughs> and in here, this is our, our, our STEAM lab. Um, and STEAM, STEAM stands for um, Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. Okay. And so oh, in here, um, we do all kinds of STEAM activities. And today we, uh, you know, we, we always have uh, ma manipulatives here to play with. Um, oh, okay. These are magnets, so children oh, are playing magnets. Oh. Uh, and these squid, squids, and you can make all kinds of things with them. You can stand them up and, and make the shapes. Oh wow! And they bend and stretch. Oh, that's really neat. And I love the colors. Oh boy! Oh my goodness! You're kidding me. Yeah, this is... That is so cool. So this is a giant... Uh, well, I think our kids would have called it a light bright. Yeah, remember light, light bright? That's so like it's a, a light bright. That's why I'm attracted exactly to it. Exactly. It reminds me of when I was a little kid. Oh, my goodness. I love that. And, and look a, at them working it. It's very it. popular with the young oh, kids. They love it. Oh, it must be unbelievable. Pulling it oh, out, putting it back in. Just and so it takes a lot of might to do that. Yep. <laughs> And, and then, then they, they light up when you put them in. They do. Oh, that is so, that is so amazing. And then over here is our, our, um, our light table uh, with all kinds of shapes and colors. And oh. they can manipulate the, the colors um, with oh, the really? knobs. They is can that right? build with it. Yep. Oh, for crying out loud. Mm. That is so amazing. And then you have this table right here. Yeah, and here, is, here is all shapes and colors, and they can make all kinds of designs. Oh, or so they can take them off. They can just... take them off. Yeah. Hi. Hi there. Oh, boy, look at that. That's that really cool. Is, yeah, that wow. is very cool. Very nice. Wow, very I like nice. that. And, and over here, though, I didn't point out at the, at the, color, at the light laboratory, they can learn to mix colors too. Okay, they can, they can mix the, colors. Yeah, they can put really the, turn on the light table. Yeah, and then you take, you know, you might put a yellow on top of um, a blue and make green. Oh, yeah. so they're learning that too. Yeah. Exactly. That's so. I just want to come after hours and just play with you everything, can. all by myself. We'll arrange it. <laughs> <laughs> and this is our our, our wind tunnel, which oh. is one of my favorites. Oh, look at that. Oh, isn't that great? And then they catch it. Yes. Oh, and you see the colors going up. Woo! Oh, that is so great, John. Oh, that is so great. Oh, my goodness. The wind tunnel. So they're learning about how wind works and just, oh, just incredible. Exactly. And here we have an activity Hi. today. Activity table. Hey, how are you? Nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> this, oh, is, so this is Tavi. Hey, and Tommy. Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Hi, nice, nice to meet you. you. Can you tell us what, we, what you're making today? We design, design a dino. Design a dino. Oh, design a dino. Design a dino. Design a dino. It's kind of like a dinosaur collage. The kids oh, really? can come in and make their favorite dinosaur with different materials. Really? How cool is that? Oh, my goodness. You got the googly eyes here, yeah. right? The little googly eyes. Mm -hmm. So do you start with a shape? Is that what you do? They can start with whatever they okay. like, but the bigger shapes make the dinosaur shape better. But okay. whatever they like to do. 
Oh, okay. So they put the shapes down and they put the, oh, and there's the, the glue. Nope. And they, oh, isn't that fun? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. This fun. Of course, di Thank dinosaurs you. are very, very popular. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and you got another ball thing going on here? Yeah. Yeah, they can manipulate, you know, how these, um, uh, oh, work, okay. You know, in, in various ways. And yep. just see, you know, how they can make a, a ball go. Or what happens if you do If you this. tilt it, what happens? Yeah. Ah. Oh, okay, sure. That's great. <laughs> That's fun. So they're learning about really yeah. simple machines here and mass. Yes, they are. They really are. Wow. And if you look around at all our signs, uh, yeah. you see we explain science, technology, oh, yeah. engineering, art, art, and math. I love how you call it STEAM because you know how STEM, yes. but you put the A in there, which is really important. Well, art is so important. Art is so important. Isn't it? And it really, I mean, art. Art is science. Art is whatever yes, you want it to be. It is. And it's your imagination. It's your creativity. It's it's everything. And art, it just encompasses so much. You know what I mean? It's not just, you know, drawing something. Exactly. So this is great. I mean, I think every engineer is an artist, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So much fun. So you see smiles everywhere. Everybody's having a good time. We usually have, you know, once, sometimes we have giant crying children. Yeah, you know, yeah. When they... And then we put uh, little things up here just to, you know, give them ideas of things they can do at home that, you know, oh, are, 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 you know, uh, STEM-based and then STEAM-based. Oh, isn't that interesting? So you can actually... How to, how to make, you know, uh, maybe a, a, a... Oh, and what happens when you put your right. finger in there exactly. and how it separates. Yes, you can do that at home. So it gives the parents ideas, right? Exactly. So we try to put little things up there to, you know, inspire things they can do at home. See, that's how years ago when my kids came here, there was none of that technology, right? Now the technology is just... And, you know, we try to do both. We try to, you know, incorporate the technology along with the, you know, the basic, you know, building blocks, literally. Yeah. Yes, so. definitely. Because that's what the world's all about, right? And they don't want to be afraid of it, so... Right. But this is just this right here. I mean, <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> Look at that. So much fun. Now, this next room is our twilight room. Ooh. This is our, our quieter room. Oh, it's we try to bring the you know, activity down. Right. Right. It isn't That's always good. quiet in here, but, right. uh, but you know, here it's really, it's supposed to be um, an outside nature experience. Oh, uh, we have so a fishing pond oh, yeah. where you can go fishing. We have a, a tent. Oh. A tent? <gasps> where you can go in and sit in the tent. Oh, wow. Um, oh. We have a campfire. Oh, look at that campfire. How cute is that? Oh, look at the, oh my goodness, the animals. Oh, and these are puppets, yes. Oh, they're puppets? Yes. Oh, boy. Oh, look at this. There's puppets. Oh, so here's our raccoon. <laughs> and this we have, is great. what do we have here? We have our squirrel. Oh, the squirrel. There you go. Hello. <laughs> Can you say hi, talking. Oh, yeah. hi, squirrel? Wait, hi. Say hi. <laughs> oh, I love the, I love the sound of the crickets in here. Yeah, I do. I love that sound so too. Cool. And we have our little, um, you know, little rowboat. Rowboat. And our pond. Oh, I'm standing in the pond and the turtles. Oh, isn't that great? Isn't that great. But this tent inside the tent, you have the um. The logs that you sit on, and this is great. It's a lot of fun, and, and sometimes parents will just sit in here quietly and you know read to their children. So we change we change up the books. We try to have books that you know have to do with you know outside, outside. activities. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, this is phenomenal. Phenomenal. And then down here, um, we have things for the younger children. You know. That's fun. Oh, yeah, yeah we have, we're teaching gears. About gears, how they work. Yeah. And this is a tessellate. This is a, a big word. Ooh, yeah. uh, uh, but it's how you arrange different shapes to make different things. And the oh, monkeys okay. are very popular. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet they are. And over here, um, this kind of um, 
Exp ex explains the wingspans oh. of, of, of different animals, or the, or the, you know, how big how a gorilla's big hand is. Also, they can put their hand next to it right. and see if it's. Or the, the wingspan of a condor. Wow. Or the antlers. You, know, you can stand here and, yeah. you know, look in the mirror oh, and, the and see the antlers on your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with a little cat paw and a giraffe leg, how high it is. A little hummingbird. Oh, the hummingbird. And they're learning. They just learn. They don't realize they're learning, but they're learning, right? Exactly. Oh yes. Look at the bathrooms. Even the bathrooms. Are great. <laughs> uh, this is an interesting piece here. Ooh. Um, this is gently. this is this marble wall. Um, this is a very calming. Uh, uh, oh yeah. Activity, and it's oh, especially uh, designed for children um, with autism. Oh really? Um, okay. It's, and, and we encourage your children to come here, no matter. How old they are, just to rub gently. Yes. And it just is a calming effect. Yeah, 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 it really is. I feel very calm right now. <laughs> I feel very calm. This is really. This, this is the only. office for our, our educational director uh, because okay. we only, we not only do programming in the museum, we do programming outside of the museum. And Chrissy will travel to um, schools um, or uh, libraries or right? sometimes, uh, like last week, it was to Legacy Place. To do an activity, really um, outside the museum, wow. and so here is where she does her planning. Um, we have okay. all kinds of things in oh, here. Oh yeah! Wow. Um, that she does her. She puts all her little bags together, um, and each child uh, will get a, a a bag with an activity in it, do and they'll really? and they'll do activities um, uh, with her, oh, and with then her. and then also t you know take it's an activity home. home. This is kind of taken elsewhere too. It's like yes, just exactly. Just yeah, it's, it's our 3ME 360 program, is what we call it. Mm -hmm. And our big sponsor for that is actually National Grid. Uh, we have a grant from them. And, really? uh, yeah, and they, they sponsor us. Um, and they, they're great supporters. And, and we go around to you know, um, you know, classrooms, mm -hmm. um, and public schools or private schools, kindergartens, uh, libraries. Oh. Um, like and I think this is actually a very good explanation of what we do here. Um, you know, how a child learns. Um, yeah. Okay. Interpersonal, intrapersonal, natural. Wow. That, that does describe it, doesn't it? It does. Ah. And what's so wonderful is that you know, some, we're all kind of drawn to different parts like well, I may be better at the verbal or some right. better at the natural but we all do everything but it's just yeah. right it's you know a child develops all of those skills and yeah. um, but they may just have a natural aptitude for music yes. or, uh, or art or mm -hmm. or math or science mm -hmm. and and I believe that it all starts you know when they're very young oh yeah uh, and we try to really enhance that yeah, because you can. If you look at your, your own children when they were really small, they're, they're apt to do something. Like my son was just all about music, 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 and so was dancing, and they were too. Yeah. And so I, and now I see it. You know what I mean? It's just, yeah. It's, I love this. Don't have time to sit down and watch eCat programs? Don't worry, eCat has got you covered. That's right, eCat has podcasts! eCat podcast channel has your favorite shows that you could listen to. For Whether you want to chill and listen to the Ron Van Dam show and hear him talk about what's bothering him that day, or the show hosted by local legends Stephanie Weinstein and Meredith Keach, where they talk about anything and everything. Or take a listen to the weekly news hosted by Jack Ryan and Abby Kitchenham. Stay tuned in with Tiger Talk, hosted by Oliver Ames students. Community Forum is where the host Priscilla talks about all things Easton. Easton residents can also find government meetings about various topics. You can find the podcast on Podbean and all your favorite podcast platforms. Just by searching ECAT or the ECAT podcast, you can find it all. The ECAT podcast channel is powered by Podbean, so either in the car ride or walking around town, you can always catch what's going on with ECAT. Happy listening! Here we go. My name is Harrison Young, and after 
13 years of talk show experience, I seek to bring you the best in interviews with some of the very best guests around, including, and there we are, experts. I've seen thousands of demons actually come out of the mirror one time. One time. Wow. Musical guests and artists. If I say how I feel, would you really listen? And interesting characters of all types. I threw that kid across the classroom. I, I look, he didn't try that ever again. Wow. Join me at Topic Time on your Eastern cable station anytime they want to play it. And I, from what I understand, that's quite a few times a day. And I love it. So here, we're getting ready for the Mad Hatter event. We are. Uh, Miss Wonderland will be coming, and the children will be making uh, wonderful hats, uh, decorating them. Ooh. And uh, we, have, uh, uh, we actually have a tea party going on also. Um, Ooh, fun. So if we walk down this way, you'll see. Um, we, have, we are set up for our treats. Oh, wow. <laughs> our Mad Hatter treats. Wow. So we have wonderful uh, Mad Hatter um, donuts and refreshments. Nice. And the children will be able to make their hats and take a treat and sit down and enjoy the tea party. Oh, that sounds wonderful. And um, if you want me to taste test, I will, you know, just you, you, you know. can do that. <laughs> and you can taste test. I love the colors of this room and everything. Everything from the painting of the pipe to the walls to, and they're, and they're cheerful colors, but they're not like too blinding, you know what I mean? Yes, and that was done on purpose. Really? Um, a few years ago, we redesigned our logo. Um, and the, I noticed And this reflects that. our colors. Okay, I love that logo. And so we painted you know, this floor and you'll find um, these colors on all three floors. Oh, um, okay. To reflect our, our logo. Oh, isn't that uh, fun? Children's Museum of Eastern um, logo it was redesigned in, I think, 2018. Oh, okay. So not that long ago. Right. Oh, I love that. Yeah, That's and great. most of this uh, painting of the colors happened after that. Oh, really? Okay. So a lot of uh, work has been done. With, I mean, there's a probably continual work in the building anyway, right? As far yes. As well, you know, we're changing. It, it's an old firehouse. It's 120 years old. And so there's constantly, um, you know, repair needed and, you know, sprucing up every September. We oh. close for a week or two uh, oh, really? to do our spruce up where we do our deep cleaning and painting oh. and maybe um, new exhibits, yep, um, yep. things like that. So oh, every year fun. we try to do something new and exciting when mm -hmm. we reopen in uh, mid-September. Oh, that's great. Wow, that's really, I and, love this. And over here, this, uh, this wall here has become our story wall. So every month we feature a new book. Oh, really? Um, and this month it's Find Me, it Adventures Underground. Oh, fun. And it's really, um, it's wonderful for the, the children and their you know, parents or caregiver to walk around and, and look at the, each page of the book and you know, identify the things that the child is interested in. Mm -hmm. um, and it, you know, it, and it, it, for some children, it just may be finding you know, the mice. But for the older mm -hmm. kids, maybe they'll read it or they'll do counting. Oh, um, very good. But, you know, there's a multi-level purpose for every book we pick. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, that's, that's, so it's a multi-level purpose, meaning so any age any really age, can do yeah, this. That, exactly. And I like exactly. how you put it low enough so the kids could look at it. Right, exactly. Yeah. Or short people. <laughs> like me. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't that a great idea? Well, so how often do you change that? Once a month. Once a month, every, really? Every month we feature a new Isn't book. that great? It's our story wall. Oh, I love this. So is this where, this is the room where they're going to be doing the actual hats? Yes, this is the room okay. where they're going to be making the hats. Um, and this is our party room. We have uh, birthday parties. Oh, uh, down on, here, on really? So that people can, you know, book a birthday party. Mm -hmm. and this is the area where the party actually takes place. Okay. And then once they've had their, their refreshments in their party, they, they can go and spend uh, time in the museum playing. Oh, okay. So it's just a short amount of time that they spend here for the party, right? Say like yes. a half hour, half hour or something? About a half hour. Yeah, because kids, I mean, okay, whatever. We sang happy birthday. We had our cake. Let's go play. Exactly. Because there's so much to do in the building. There is. There's lots yeah. of things to do in the building. Oh, and uh, okay. So this part, although it's fun, I, you know, I think the parents get excited about the, you know, the birthday party and the cake for the kids. 
They want to go play. <laughs> they do. They do. Definitely. Hi. She is our educational director. And she, and she also does our three Emmys 360 that I was telling you about, um, yes. where she takes our, our program on the road. Yes. I think that's so amazing. Instead of just keeping it here in house, right? You actually take it on the road. Do people sign up for that? Or? They do. Okay. How do you advertise that? How do you we, um, we send our brochures. It's also online. Uh, okay. Oh, really? Yeah, we have a great following. Right? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, can you? Have we have a great following. You have so, a great following, yeah, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. So some people may even just follow you around. Oh, they're going to go over here. I'm going to go see them. Or, yeah. You know, so, well, oh. Especially with the libraries and, and community oh, yes. programs. Right, right. I just realized I have this hat on. Uh, okay. It's very appropriate <laughs> today. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, thank you very much for all the work you do. Thank it's you. It's just yeah. phenomenal. It really is. So, really our makerspace area. Um, so we'll put out all kinds of um, materials for them, you know, with tape and mm -hmm. paste and, you know, markers and crayons and things like that for them oh, yeah. to just create their own designs. Oh, really? And, yeah, oh. so new, normally there's a lots of things out here. Um, we have bins of things, um, mm -hmm. uh, which I can actually show you if you'd like. They're in the staff room. Um, and that we bring out to, uh, you know, to stimulate their, you know, creativity. Creativity, yes, yep. And oh, also, usually every day we have um, a particular activity, planned activity, that they can do. Some kind of a, a craft oh, okay. that they can make. Oh, so you actually plan something as oh, well so that they, oh, every day. Oh, yeah. So you're not just randomly coming down here and going, okay, what am I going to do? No, I mean, right? with, just, well, with a makerspace, yeah, you can do yeah, that. Yeah, you can. But, but we choices. also have planned activities. So the calendar. So every month we do a calendar, and it tells what's going on in the museum. Okay. Uh, and um, most every day we have a special activity. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some some things are repeated maybe over the weekend. Oh, yeah, look in case somebody misses it. But, wow. But, oh, that's great that you repeat some of them in case oh, they yes. miss it. Yeah, we do. Oh, look at all that. That's a that is so good. And you know what's fun too is you can. Show your child. Is like, look at this right here. We can do this, you know, on this day, and they get this excited. Is available on our website. So, what is the website address? The website address is, is cmeaston.org. Oh, very good. Normally, uh, this is our di our dino den, as we call it. Dino den. And down here, we have replicas of all kinds of dinosaurs. They're about this size, and we have them on our our table here. Mm -hmm. um, the children can put them on the floor. Um, we have uh, actually Legos that are dinosaurs too for the, oh, yeah? for the, for the li littler children to play with. Oh, boy. Uh, and then we have uh, dinosaur books out here. Yep. Um, and these are actual fossils. Oh, they're actual fossils. Yeah, these were, really? Uh, I think they were found in Connecticut, as I understand. Were they really? Yes. Dinosaur fossils from Connecticut. Wow, Connecticut. Look at that. That is amazing. I don't know if I've ever seen one. And we also have little dinosaur tails. That the little ones can put on and they can pretend they're dinosaurs. Oh, how cute is that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, brother, that is so cute. And one of my favorite places actually is this little nook. Uh, we have you know books for uh, you know a parent and child can sit and read in there. And children love little snuggy spaces. They do. Yes. So they'll take the dinosaurs in there and play, or they'll just sit and look at a book. So here we are at the wild place. The wild place is our outdoor um, area. Mm -hmm. um, it, this wild place opened in 2006. Oh, um, before that, it was really just uh, uh, an area with you know trees and mm. and um, you know it wasn't it wasn't a place to really play. Yeah. Uh, but it was designed back then um, with a lot of you know quiet um, places to to walk around and play. Mm -hmm. um, and we're now going to redesign the wild place. Oh. Oh, really? You're going to redesign it? We are. We're keeping, okay. you know, we're keeping, of course, the natural elements uh, yep. of it. Okay. Um, right. But we're going to be adding um, really um, other equipment. But really? we're keeping the theme of the wild place. Okay. So good. we will have, um, we will have um, several things for the children to climb on. Uh, we will have a, hmm. a climber, um, multiple sided climber, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and also uh, we'll have a, a uh, a balance uh, component to it, mm -hmm. um, and in keeping it with the wild place, um, we will have uh, we have an elephant out there. When we go out there, you'll see it. Oh, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna move our elephant over here, okay? Um, and we're going to have um, 
a giraffe, a multi-sided giraffe to climb and play on. Oh, really? Uh, wow. We're going to have a caterpillar, <laughs> um, and we're going to have an alligator. Wow. Uh, and then we're lot. going to have um, a, a musical theater cottage um, that will be like a playhouse. Oh. Um, and we'll have uh, musical instruments um, really? attached to it. What? Uh, oh, my goodness. And then also keeping with uh, the wild place, we're going to have a really cool jungle jeep to jungle climb on. Jeep? Yes. Oh, my keeping goodness. Keeping with our transportation theme <laughs> oh, yeah. of inside oh, yeah. the museum, we're going to have a, um, a jeep 4x4, four four, um, a jungle jeep, to, to, to climb on and to pretend in. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, and then, of course, we also will do, you know, programming out here, um, as, we mm -hmm. as we usually do. We will do events out here. So this September, we're having a, um, a fundraiser, uh, which will be a, a wonderful event um, at Stonehill, uh, where we're raising money um, to pay for all of the renovations of the wild place. Oh, really? What oh, it's going to be, idea. and our theme, of course, is where the wild things are. Oh, this one's going to have a theme? It does. It's really? Have a theme. Yes, it is. Oh, boy. So we're hoping people will come. Um, That's and, not that uh, far away. No, That's, it's I mean, September, September 23rd. 23rd. Yeah. Yep. yep. Tick, you know, you can buy tickets on our website. Okay. Uh, we're going to have um, an auction, a live auction. Oh, perfect. Uh, and uh, we have some auction items already up on the website. Oh, you do? Yeah, we do. So we're oh. hoping that people will, su you know, support the renovation of the Wild Place by... Um, coming and having fun at our, our, our party, um, mm -hmm. um, bidding on our auction items, yeah. um, and just giving donations um, so what that we can, we can, cause. We can uh, give um, this uh, wonderful uh, space uh, a facelift. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. And it's just for years and years and years to come. Kids it, it will has. enjoy it. Yep. yep. Oh, it's, that would be definitely worth attending. Yeah. Or even like you said, donating too. So if you can't make it, if something's going on September 23rd, you can still donate. Right? Exactly, exactly. Okay, yeah. you can do that on the website? You can do that on the website. Okay, yeah. good to know. Okay. okay. Oh, good to know, wow. Well, let's walk in. Okay, let's go. So this amphitheater area is where people sit to, to see our performance. Okay. And so in just a few oh, minutes, nice. this will fill up with children and adults, and our performer will be up there. Oh, very nice. Yeah. So currently, this is our uh, a small music area. You can um, <laughs> play on these, show you. Oh, look at that. Oh, isn't that great? <laughs> this is like, oh, a, like a rain stick, like a... And then children can, you know, bang on on the on, on these um, oh, isn't that great? <laughs> things for um, making you know just music. go crazy and it, bang on them exactly. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. So we'll be you know redesigning the you know this area so that mm. um, we have lots of interesting things uh, to to do out here. That's so good because you have the space, right? We do. We and do. is the elephant? We do. Boy. Yeah, the elephant was going to get a spruce up, and he's going to be moving up the hill. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Well that's good. Everybody, everybody can yeah, see Because him. this is where our giraffe will be. Yeah. Oh the giraffe's right here. Yeah. We'll be here. Yeah. Ooh. This is so great. And if we walk down the path here, on the other side of the elephant, um, these are fossils. Oh look at that. Yeah. And um, cool. we're going to be moving these fossils to the outside, you know, outside of the fence. So oh, really? children can you know, use them out there. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's and good we'll have another element here. I think the, my memory, I think the caterpillar, caterpillar. is going to go here. Okay. And then down the road a little bit, we'll have um, so, uh, play panels where children can do interactive play uh, um, on the panels. Oh, boy. So you could do a lot of this stuff here. Like if you just want to be outside for right. a while, exactly. it's a day instead of being inside the whole time. Exactly. Which is just exactly. You go crazy and use your outdoor yeah. voice. And, anyway, and we also will be doing programming because um, we're going to be you know, kind of changing the um, this area a little bit mm -hmm. uh, and bringing in some native plants. Really? Uh, and, and doing some, you know, oh. some teaching about native plants and, oh. and how they interact with the environment. Fabulous. What a great idea that is. 
It is beautiful. You know, to me, it's beautiful as it is now too. I mean, I can see where you want to improve this or that, but I mean, it's still. Oh, it's it's a it's a lovely. It is a beautiful area. Yeah. It really, really is. Um, but this, you know, this will have um, this will be where I think our alligator will be. Okay. Um, <laughs> and we'll be moving our teepee probably down that way a little more bit though, more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this the down teepee. here is where our, 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 our musical cottage will be. Oh, um, fun. So the children, you know, can play whatever they want you know, in that area. Uh, oh, and, I'm so excited music. about it. Yeah, that, that is just... <laughs> So is there anything else you wanted to mention before we close out the show? Sure. Um, we do uh, partner um, with um, several organizations. Um, we, uh, anyone who has an EBT card um, can get reduced admission. It's $12 a person. It is um, $5 a person. Okay, great. Okay. Um, and we do do uh, some free programming also. Um, we have the uh, Friendship Project uh, come here Um one evening um, a month, late afternoon, and the Friendship pro Project has to do with children with um, autism. So they come in and use the, the uh, museum. Um, we try to have, uh, we limit the number of people, um, mm -hmm. and we may even change some of the um, exhibits to make it um, uh, less stimulating um, and oh, more calming. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So we've, we've had four of those now, and um, oh, I, we great. just received a grant um, to do further um, autism programming. Really? Yes. Isn't that something? Yeah. Wow. Um, and uh, in the past, we have uh, we have partnered with the Charity Guild to do programs, mm -hmm. and we'd like to do that again. Um, and... Um, you know, and there is opportunities, you know, for other organizations uh, to partner with us, you know, if they'd like to work out some kind of program like that. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, for our, our our gala, we have spo different sponsorships, and at various sponsorship levels, mm -hmm. uh, we allow the sponsor to choose a charity of their choice um, and bring in a group um, of oh, children. Oh, wow. That's quite a bit. That's that's very good. It's just amazing how you're touching all different um, people groups and you know what I mean situations of people that yeah. are uh, you know like the EBT and the charities and the autism and that's fantastic. Wow. And we do. And um, uh, one of the things that we do also um, is uh, we have field trips come in. Oh, really? um, and the children come in at a reduced trip for field trips. So really? schools can uh, sign up to come uh, with, with, you know, age appropriate children um, and, uh, they'll, you know, have a, a, a group of say, you know, um, we don't do it for less than 25 children um, at a mm -hmm. time. Um, but we, we've had groups up to maybe 70 at a time uh, come in wow. and, and use the muse museum at a really? reduced rate. Really? Wow. Yeah, so they'll come and spend time in the museum, and mm -hmm. then they'll usually bring a picnic lunch and have it outside. So we do it usually in the great fall day. In, the, in the spring. Fall and spring. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Wow. And so you're, um, you're open Monday through Friday, Monday through Saturday. It on depends the summer, on right? uh, in the summer. We're we're yeah. here um, Monday through Saturday. Okay. Um, at, when the in the fall, you know, after uh, Labor Day, when we reopen after our spruce up, mm -hmm. um, we are closed on Mondays. Closed on Mondays. Okay, mm -hmm. but open on Sundays. But open on Sundays. Okay, yeah. good to know. Yeah. That's great. So if I wanted to say I had a grandchild or something, I wanted to bring the grandchild, I can either go online and find out all the information there, or I can even call you here can call too? Here. Yes. All right. You can That's call great. and speak with Karen or anyone at the front desk can give you, you know, directions how to get here yep. or any other information that you need. Excellent. Good. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Christine. I really Thank appreciate you. Thank it. you for coming here and, and, yeah. uh, and, and letting us showcase our, our lovely little museum. I love it. It's just, it's phenomenal. So, and you really should come visit it. It's just amazing. All the various things. We spend hours here. So until next time, I will see you on Discover Easton.